Hey guys, Scarlet again. Um, so let's just do things. This is a question answer video, Q and A video, and also something <laughs> that I found that I can use. Where was this? Oh, it's a play down, isn't it? It is. Oh, this is a giant space. Well, so you know these little. I can get out of the case now. These little things that iPods come in. The iPods that you get out of the case. They come in the boxes and they come in like a little plate thingy. And you have to like dig it out. It looks like, looks like this. Clear sheet of plastic with just like rims on it to like hold it in place. Well, I found out until I get the case. When I want to take it somewhere, I can just put it in here and then just walk around my house with it. Because I mean, I'm not, even, I'm not holding it to the iPod at all. Like here, I'll go this way. This is me holding on to the plastic. I'm not very good at balance though. See, holding on to the plastic. Plastic. So let me just unlock this. And this is a QA video I'm doing. Sorry, I'm replying back to someone for years. That was just like 20 seconds of just me texting. But yeah, anyways, back to my point. It's the whole lot of plastic, not the iPod, and it's not coming out. So yeah, I'm using that as a case, so, and also it's easier for me to hold it. But uh, what I did was I went on YouTube, I went on Twitter, and I made a tweet saying, um, what you guys saw in my video last time, I think it was saying, hey, ask me some questions. No one asked me questions at all. I have nothing from that tweet at all. Like, here, I'll go to the tweet. Doing Q and A video, focus cam focus focus school camera. Doing Q and A video soon. Send your questions, and I got nothing. I got nothing even on Ask FM. So I mean, I could scroll through Ask FM. There's just some that photo. Well then, tweet that tweet. I sent them the wrong photo. Whoopsies. I'll read them that. I'll make sure it's the correct photo. Because that was the one that I took on the first issue. So that went missing. That's no longer on Twitter. But anyways, so if I go back to the timeline. Are you kidding me? Search. Question time. So I just typed in hashtag questions. I didn't get anything, so I typed in hashtag question time. And it was all tweets. So I'm just going to go through these. The first one is from Adventure Time. Come on, focus in. Adventure Time Fact, just the first tweet that's on the thing. Just the first one. It's just the first one. Um, and it says, How does the rest of your family feel about Adventure Time? Well, I don't watch Adventure Time very often. I do when, um, I'm with my, with some, with some of my friends. Because they are addicted to it, and I don't really pay attention to them usually texting or something during it. I, I liked it for, like, the first three months and then I just got busy and I just never started watching again. And my family, I'm not an only ch well, I am an only child, but I consider my one friend, my brother and my other friend and sister, um, they are in love with it. My brother and sister are in love with it. I, on the other hand, don't watch it. And my grandparents and my mom don't watch it either. So the next one. What? On January 18th, you can take your personal assessment, see what science suggests, to you depends on your answers. What? That's not time question time. That that's the tweet. That's the legit real tweet. One D live tweeted that and my friend just sent me on her thing. Um What do you wish there was a song about? That one is by Sammy Hampkin.
I don't know how this camera focuses in by itself, but whatever. But whatever. It works. Um, what's just a song about, like, instead of breakups and making, like, love, like, typical love songs, wish there was a song just about how the people who, like, are depressed, like, the, I know there are songs like that out there, but, like, one that isn't, like, how did I word it? No, because then I think about there is a song ripping with the horizon about it. Maybe a song about how, uh... I don't really know. I can't think of anything I really want to song about. Fine, here we go. I'll do the challenge for you guys. I want a song about beanies. Like, uh, the hat beanie. So if you guys can, like, do that. Like, check that out. Do that stuff. So, yep. Hmm. Here we go. Antonio, uh, T. Jizzle One wrote two hours ago to question to hashtag question time. What would you do if you were a guy for a day? What I would do if I was a guy for a day? Probably sit around and skateboard and play video games. So basically, nothing different than what I already do. Um. If I get same person, if I get a ta if you get a tattoo, what would it be? Um, I already have a tattoo kind of planned. Um, it says uh, I want to get on my one of my shoulders, and it says you can't draw my demons sit on this one. Now people are getting a tattoo because of lyrics. I am not. I'm getting because I can't actually draw my demons and I'll have to swim. That's fun to train. Okay, you have a tattoo, and what is it if you do? I do not have any tattoos. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. I have no tattoos. Yeah, all this stuff you guys see on me, like, this writing, this writing here, and that writing there, and all the stuff on my hands, that's all, like, a pin or, uh, Sharpie, which has been on this since Wednesday, and it's Friday, so. Uh, Hmm. Who are the most, who are you the most, four most influential drummers ever? Well, I can name two. I can actually, actually I can name one. I think I can name two. I can't, Joan something, I don't, I think her name is Joan. She's from Skillet, I just heard her name yesterday, and for some reason I can't think of her name. She's the British drummer for Skillet. And then, uh, Christian Coma. Those are the two that I actually know exist. Like, I know others exist, but I know those names. I've heard names of other drummers, but I don't remember them off the top of my head right now. And that question was from, a uh, That's an awkward thing, but... That question was from... Uh... U-N... U-F-I-T North America. Um... That's not even in my English. That's not in language. It's not even in my English. Um, I'm gonna find two more, and then I'll be done. Hmm, I gotta find two good ones. I should have copied these and just have them really pick it up. But I didn't, because I need to know. Here's one that I know some people are controversial about. Um, this is from Susan Williams. Uh, SP Williams size. Do people not realize clothes have a size for a reason? Um, she doesn't give the wrong answer, but I'm gonna get fine. I think people do realize it. I think people just want to look like they're younger, or they want to look skinny, or something. They think, oh, this needs to be skinny because it pulls my stomach in because it's so tight. Well, actually, no. 
it stretches out the shirt and you can see your stomach more and it's more noticeable. I noticed, I realized that when I bought a shirt, it was my new spell shirt, and it was a little too tight up here, on my, not on my neck, but on my shoulders, it was really too tight. It wasn't tight on my stomach at all, but, um, it was a little tighter up on, um, like around my neck and around my shoulders for a while. And I'm getting remarks because it was my shoulders, and my shoulders, I have broad shoulders, so they stick out anyway. Like, no matter, this is a really, like, loose shirt, and I mean, you can tell I have broad shoulders. Like, I have shoulders, and not, like, those weird, like, girls who have, like, eh, well, I, I have no shoulders. Like, they're really skinny, and they, like, have, like, they have shoulders, but, I mean, they aren't, you, they're not that noticeable. I mean, mine are already noticeable, so, I mean, whatever. But, yeah, let's just do Okay, that looks better. So yeah, um, I just don't notice it very often. But uh, who would I be interested in having a blog with? Um, a vlog, well, a vlog. But I would, I would say vlog because I'm, I do video blogs with this. I would have to say if I could pick, if I could pick three YouTube celebrities, I'd pick That Is on Fire, Amazing Phil and showy. <laughs> Basically because I don't want to do I either want to do Dan and Phil together Shane Dawson, Dan and Phil together like if I had to do combinations with like groups, like me and like two people, if it's me and two other people it would be me uh, Shane and Joey me uh, Dan and Phil and then me, Alex Day and Charlie Esokulek those are my three people who I want to have a video with no matter what. No matter what you say, I want a video with them. And I would have them be challenge videos just to be fun. Or even drawing videos. Because, I mean, yeah, see my artwork. I mean, I'm, I'm good. And then the last one. Okay, here's one. The, um, I am somewhat religious, as you guys know. I do go to church on um, Wednesday nights. My youth group. I don't go on Sundays basically because I'm usually busy or something and I don't, I just, I do, uh, week prayer or not. I don't see the reason why you have to go to church if you're gonna pray. I mean, yes, it's a good thing to do, but you don't, I don't see the reason behind having, like, you don't do, like, you don't think you're not a good Christian if you go to church. Well, some people just don't have the time in their lives to do that. Like, they have so many activities going or they live with their parent, the uh, parents of the parents, but that's like me. I live with, like, I'm pretty sure I live with my mom in Omaha during the, uh, weekends most of the time, so. But here's one. Only God can judge me. Bleh. If God were right in front of you, only God can, only God can judge me. Whatever. If God were right in front of you, in human form, could you take the judgment? That's a maybe for me, because, um, there's some things I've been doing in my life that are things I've doing, saying, um, some people I regret not keeping up with and talking to still after middle school, people I regret talking to, people I regret saying certain words to, or people I regret even saying hi to just because they ended up backstabbing me instead of being there for me, they ended up being against me, not there, they ended up being away from me, or we thought so much that it just our friendship isn't worth worth it anymore. Or the biggest one, we just don't have anything in common. I don't even know why he even became friends with the person. Like there's a person I talk to now, which I'm not friends with anymore. Um, I used to actually date them and we have so much in common and we just don't talk to anyone. He they always won't talk to me. I don't give names or anything. Um they know who they are. They know how much they still mean to me, and they choose to just not talk to me. They choose to talk to my best friends and everything, but yet they choose to ignore me. So that is just the reasoning behind that, and I hope one day that that person will realize what he left, what they left behind, and that maybe it's worth coming back and talking to me. Maybe not. Maybe my friend and him will get. Maybe my friend and the person will get married and maybe I'll see them one day. Maybe I won't. Maybe they'll be at the snowball. Mm, I don't know. It kind of depends. But, uh, thanks everyone for watching and I love you guys like always. Stay strong, live, live long, and march on like the song yesterday says. And basically, just, we all have battle scars. Bye.